thank you for buying this 18174 clamp meter for current measurement from fixture displays. It also measures resistance, continuity, doubt, etc. It comes with probes, battery, the meter itself, and the instruction sheet. This cable measures about 30 inches long. And this unit uh, is very lightweight. It's about oh, six, six inches long. At the widest point, about two and a half inches wide. And it's just about a one inch thick. This opening is a little over one inch. And this trigger opens up the clamp. To begin, we want to install the batteries. We take a Phillips screwdriver to undo the housing cover and install two batteries. If you have any questions, feel free to email us cs at fixturedisplays.com. That's Charlie Sam at fixturedisplays.com. The primary use of this current meter certainly is to measure current without accessing the current itself. But you can use the probes and they connect this way, red to the right, right and black to the left. You can use that to measure continuity, voltage, and resistance. You can, as far as current, it only measures alternate current. It does not measure direct current. So if we put on resistance, you can use these two probes to measure a conductor, to measure resistance. And certainly if you connect, connect the two leads, it gives you zero. Now we rotate the dial to continuity and a buzzer or sound if the current is is continue there's no interruption now this measures voltage and you can use the probes to access the wires. Now remember when doing so, the red goes to the positive and black goes to negative. If you like this video, please consider sub subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, leave a good seller feedback along with a product review. Now we're going to test voltage for this particular outlet. It gives us, gives us 224 volts alternate current. We're now going to try the clamp portion to read the current. As you can see, we have several different current settings, 400 amp, 200 amp, and 20 amp. If you are not certain what your current range is, always start with the higher range. In this case, we're starting with 600 amp current and give you, it gave you 50, 
six. Now we're going to narrow that down, knowing it's far less than 600, 400. We're going to try 200 amps. And the more proper the range, the more accurate it is. You can see this is 52 amp or about. If you push the button, it uh, records that data. Now we're going to try a single wire. Remember, always do a single wire. If you measure current of two wires, it would not give you accurate reading because it's going to measure the difference of current. If it's on the same circuit, it's more than likely close to be zero because they're current carrying the same current. In this case, this wire reads about 16 amps. Now if we dial that to 20 amp range, it's going to give us better reading in terms of accuracy. It now reads 13 amps. So I hope you find this instructional video helpful. If you have any issues, feel free to contact us. CS, that's Charlie Sam at Fixture Displays. Dot com. While you're on our website, I encourage you to browse many other products and services we have to offer. Thank you once again.